G'day guys, uh, in this video I just want to show you how you can make a holographic projector to use with your iPad using acetate film or it's also called OHP paper. It used to be massive in schools when OHP projectors were around. It's probably still a pile of it lying in some cupboard somewhere so if you can get your hands on it, that's fantastic. So the first thing you want to do is with, the, with your A4 sheet of acetate is to use a compass and create a circle on it which is basically as large as you can make. This one here has a radius of around about 9.5 centimetres. And then using the compass as it's set to create the circle, start on the outside line of the circle and create these points around the outside, as seen in the video. So you'll get six of those marks around the outside, and you can ask your maths teacher about why that happens. Next, I want you to rule a line from the center out to one of the marks you've made, and then rule straight lines connecting the dots around the outside of the circle, just like you can see in the video here. Uh, what we're doing is creating a pyramid, uh, or a pyramid shape, and these lines that we're ruling here are us preparing the sides of the pyramid. Once you've ruled around the outside, uh, you don't have to go right around the outside, but uh, just as many as you can see as in the video, you can start ruling lines from the outside line into the center point. And you can see the pyramid sides really coming together there. Also need to rule uh, or create a small semicircle shaped structure in the middle. Those lines are about a centimeter out from the from the center point. And then grab some scissors and start to cut your shape out. So you're cutting this shape out of the main circle. You cut around the outside first. And then when you get to that end point, you can cut in towards the middle. And you can also cut out the semicircle on right in the center that you created as well. Uh, it's important you do that. Right, uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, fold, before you start cleaning the lines off, is to fold along those lines. So you're folding the sides of the pyramid here now. And if you use a ruler, it makes it a lot easier to get a nice clean line. So you can continue to do that. And what you'll find is once you've got nice ruled uh, folded edges, it should sit on its own as a pyramid like that. Um, I used some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the marker that I used originally. Um, if you used a permanent marker, it's probably not ideal. You'll, it'll still work, but it's nice to have a nice clean pyramid with no interruptions in your viewing. So um, that was a non-permanent marker there. And the next thing I do is use uh, sticky tape to, to bind the blind ends of the pyramid together. So once you've made the folds in the side, just add, uh, hold the, the blind ends together, add a little bit of sticky tape, and, um, and then it'll sit nice and cleanly like this. Um, what we're going to do next is make the base. So if you've made your pyramid really well, it'll probably be able to sit on its own, um, but mine don't, so I needed to use uh, I'll make a base. And so what we can do here is just rule out the shape of an X on this card. Um, you can play with the, the size of this, but this one here is about, uh, each, each part of the X is about 5 centimeters long. And just use a little bit of hot glue in the middle, right in the middle there. And you can sit your pyramid, inverted, on the hot glue. And you want it to be sitting in this orientation. So if you see where the, the corners or the points of the pyramid are facing, that's how you want it to sit. Now once the hot glue is cooled down, it's ready to, to use. Um, so if you head over to YouTube, you can Google, uh, sorry, or YouTube search holographic videos and you'll get a heap of them come up that you can view and all you've got to do is place your holographic projector on and you'll start seeing it like this and obviously it's going to work better in a, in a really dark room. Um, now check out the links below, I've included links to a template that you can uh, use so if you don't want to go through that whole process of ruling on your own the shape of the, uh, the circle and the, and the pyramid then there's a template you can use as a guide there's also a couple of links below that you could follow to learn about how you can actually try and make these holographic videos using apps like Explain Everything or Keynote. So if you work in a school, uh, you can get your kids to create these holographic projectors, but then also get them to create their own uh, videos to view and have a bit of fun with that. All right, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, hope it goes well. Cheers.